Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the daily devotion written by our general overseer, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. My name is Kunle Adetola. I pastor one of the redeemed Church of God parishes in Welling Garden City called the Fountain of Life. The topic before us today is not moved by tears. Our Bible passage is taken from Psalm 138, verses 1 to 3. I will praise you with my whole heart before the gods. I will sing praises to you. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold and strengthened me in my soul. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 138 verse 2. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name for, you are, for your loving kindness and your truth. And you have magnified your word above your name. Our reflection. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 that wisdom is the principal thing. In all you're getting, get understanding. Somewhere else the Bible says that wisdom is profitable to direct. Hear the words of the preacher in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verses 10 to 12. If the axe is dull and one does not sharpen the edge, then he must use more strength. But wisdom brings success. A serpent may, be, may bite, but it is not charmed. The blabber is no different. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool shall swallow him up. When you have knowledge and correctly apply that knowledge to positively affect your life, then you are a wise person. When you have knowledge and you refuse to apply it or care less about how you use it, you use that knowledge, please permit me to say that you are foolish. Imagine a doctor or a professor of medicine who is still smoking, knowing fully well that smoking kills. That is foolishness. God is not moved by our emotions. Indeed, when we cry unto him, he hears our cry. But what moves God is his word and how far we are ready to go to obey his words. The word of God is settled in heaven. And that is what the Bible tells us in Psalm 119 verse 89. It says, once you know how to apply the word of the Lord to that situation, you are bound to find solution to whatever is the issue with your life. But if you are just emotion, emotional without applying the word of the Lord to your situation, you are just being emotional and nothing will happen. After the battle of Jericho, when Achan took the accursed things and Joshua went before the presence of the Lord and lay prostrate, begging the Lord for mercy, God ordered him to leave the state where he was and find out the problem with the people and what went wrong. If you have sinned, pray for mercy, ask for forgiveness, make amends, and stop being emotional. Apply the word of the Lord correctly, correct, correctly and it will profit your life. The importance of wisdom, therefore, is to know the right keys and apply them to open the door to your destiny. Stop beating about the bush. Action point, pick a problem, confronting you and find out God's principles on how to solve it. Simply apply these principles and check out the result you will obtain. My prayer for you is that you'll be able to apply the words that comes to you daily. I ask for grace for you. God bless you. Have a great day.